Good morning po sa ating lahat. Another day of devotion. And so we will be having a good time to today. <laughs> Tonight. Today since um ayun pag-uusapan po natin ulit ang salita ng Panginoon and um we will be able to worship him again together. So um bago po tayo mag-start, we will open in prayer. Let us all pray. Uh, Father God, thank you once again for this wonderful morning that you have given us. Thank you for bringing us here and um, allowing us to be together, to have fellowship, and to just worship you alone, Lord God. We pray that you give us wisdom, give us joy, give us knowledge, Lord, as we study your word. And we cancel all the works of the enemy, Lord God. Hindi po ito uh, magdatagumpay. Only your plans will prevail. We love you, Father. We just praise you. We honor your name and lift your name on high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So, yeah, we will be having one worship song bago po tayo mag-proceed sa ating um, pinaka-devotion this morning. You can search also the lyrics kung nasan po kayo ngayon. Ang ating worship song po ay Heart of a Servant. Feeling away 
and amen. And so, uh, we will proceed the post at um devotion time. And um, we've been um, talking about um, having this heart to serve the Lord. And sobrang sakto pa ng worship song. Kung narinig niya pa yung kanta, di ba? Um, it's wherever you go, wanna be by your side, no longer I, but Christ living in you. So we have to be reminded na hindi na po tayo ang nag-rule over sa life natin, but rather... Um, ang Panginoon na po, siya na po yung Diyos ng buhay natin, siya ang nag-rule um, over sa life natin. So, sabi po sa Numbers 14, verse 24, if you have your Bibles with you, um, sabi po dyan, My servant Caleb thinks differently and follows me completely. And sabi po sa Philippians 2, verse 5, Think of yourselves the way Christ Jesus thought of himself. So for today po, we will be talking about thinking like a servant. And for sure, marami na po sa atin ang nakarinig ng salitang servant. Marami na po sa atin naka-encounter on how to be a servant, on how to serve like a servant, and how to have a servant heart. So to be a servant, it requires a mental shift. Or a change in your attitude. Sabi po sa verse kanina, di ba? My servant Caleb thinks differently and follows me completely. So in this world, it's hard to live like a servant. Because uh, what people think about being a servant is when you're a servant, super low mong tao, super wala kang karapatang tao, super wala kang kwentang tao. Yun yung tingin ng mundo when it comes to the word servant or when it comes to people who are servants. But sa atin po, sa ating mga anak ng Panginoon, it is actually the attitude and character and personality na dapat natin ina-apply sa life natin. So, sabi po dito, it requires a mental shift. Bakit kaya it requires a mental shift? It is because, since we are living in this world, iba po ang estado at takbo ng ating mga utak. Iba po ang... Um, mental direction natin kapag nandito tayo sa mundo. So, it has to be really shifted because um, para ma-remind po tayo kung ano ba talaga ang buhay ng isang pagiging servant. And sabi dito, a change in your attitudes. Because ang natural or ang human nature po natin talagang mga tao is hindi talaga natin gusto maging servants. Yun po ang human nature natin. But we have to have this change in our attitudes. We have to have this mental shift for us to be really a servant. So God is always more interested in why we do something than in what we do. So most of the time, we just do things because we just want to do it and it looks good. It looks great to do that. But nakakalimutan natin ano bang purpose natin why we're doing that. And God is actually looking sa mga ginagawa natin kung bakit natin siya ginagawa. Anong motivation natin? Anong purpose natin? Anong nag-drive sa atin for us to do that? And uh, makikita naman po kasi natin, everyone can do good, but not everyone are... Um, not everyone ay alam kung ano ba talaga ang purpose ng ginagawa nila. Kasi may iba, may makakausap ka, tatanong mo sila, ba't may ginagawa? Wala, trip ko lang. <laughs> Wala, ginagawa ko lang. Pero iba pag tinanong mo, kapag alam talaga nila yung purpose, alam nila kung bakit nila ginagawa yun. When you ask them, why are you doing that? Because I want to glorify the Lord. Because I wanted to do what pleases the Lord. So yun po yung gusto ng Panginoon sa atin. He wants to see that kind of um, purpose in our lives na pinapamuhay po natin. And sabi dito, attitudes count more than achievements. Kahit gaano po natin karaming, kahit, <laughs> mali yung grammar sa Tagal, kahit gaano karami ang achievements na mayroon tayo, pero if we don't have the right attitude, if we don't have an attitude that is right before God, then it's all nonsense. Aanhin natin yung pagiging top natin sa school Kung wala naman tayong respeto o galang sa mga teacher natin. Kung wala naman tayong care dun sa kapwa natin. So, achievements don't matter when it comes to the Lord. What matters for Him is our heart, our attitudes, and um, kung paano natin pinapamuhay yung purpose na binigay niya sa atin. So, ayun, di ba? Um, real servants serve God with a mindset 
of five attitudes, which which we will be talking today. So we have um, five attitudes na pag-usapan po natin sa pagiging servant. So number one, servants think more about others than about themselves. So this is one great and important attitude that we should have as servants. Sabi dito, servants think more about others than about themselves. Selflessness. Servants focus on others, not themselves. Makikita po natin yan sa life in Jesus Christ. When we talk about servants or servant hearts or thinking like a servant, the best example that we can think of, though marami naman sa Bible, but the really best role model ng pagiging servant ay walang iba kundi si Jesus Christ. So we've seen in his life that he is selfless. He is thinking more about others than thinking of himself. When he when he was um, with his disciples, uh, sila po ay nagme-ministry. Ang sabi ng disciples niya, magpahinga na sila. And for sure si Jesus, with him uh, facing a large crowd, for sure pagod na siya. But what he keeps on thinking about is kung ano ba yung, uh, ano ba yung kalagayan ng mga tao na yun. Ano mga kalagayan ng iba. Because I remember this story na um, supposed to be papauwiin na nila yung parang 4,000, 5,000 people. But Jesus said, what if these people mag-faint kasi wala silang nakain, wala silang makainan, wala silang mapuntahan. So, they chose to let those people stay. So, yun po yung, yung time na gumawa ng miracle si Jesus Christ. And uh, makikita natin yung heart niya to really care dun sa ibang tao, to really serve those people instead of thinking of himself to be served instead of thinking of himself first, de ba? So hindi po ganon yung attitude na pinakita ni Jesus Christ, and and that's what he is teaching us, and that's what he wants us to apply sa life natin. Um, this is actually a true humility, not thinking less of ourselves, but thinking of ourselves less. So, ano ibig sabi nun? Because sometimes akala na iba humility is about um. It's about parang pinababa natin yung worth natin, yung value natin. But it's not actually that. What humility is teaching us is thinking um, of ourselves less, di ba? Mas iniisip natin yung sarili natin pa huli compared sa pag-iisip natin sa iba. Because we think of others first. We think of God first, di ba? And um, sabi dito, they are self-forgetful. Paul said, forget yourselves long enough to lend a helping hand. This is what it means to lose your life. And many times we've been talking about dying to ourselves. We've been talking about um, uh, selflessness, di ba? So yun po yung um, tinuturo sa atin ng Panginoon. Um, ayun, sabi po dito, when we stop focusing on our own needs, we become aware of the needs around us. So, kaya di ba minsan siya sabi natin, oh, I can still think a lot of of myself and at the same time care for others. Pero hindi po. The, the word itself, the Lord himself is telling us na dapat hindi natin inisip masyado kung ano yung pansarili natin. Because pag, the more we think of what we need, the more we think of ourselves, the less we think of others kasi natatakpan na, nakocover na. Nandun na tayo nakafocus. So, if that actually happened to Jesus Christ, for sure hindi siya namatay for us. For sure hindi tayo naligtas ngayon. So, ayun. Sabi dito, Jesus emptied himself by taking on the form of a servant. When was the last time you emptied yourself? So, very important that we are emptying ourselves for us to have this um, heart and form of being a servant. Diba? It's only when we forget ourselves that we do things that deserve to be remembered. Unfortunately, a lot of our service today, sa, kasi pwede natin sabihin na, I'm nagsiserve naman ako, I'm, I'm a servant. Nagsiserve naman ako sa church, nagsiserve naman ako, may ginagawa akong ministries, naglalive ako, or may ginagawa akong everything and all that. But most of the time, yung, yung service natin, it becomes self-serving instead na nagiging um, pure yung heart natin to serve others. Ang tendency po siya, ang nangyayari po dito sa mundo is we serve because 
We want to look good. We want others to praise us. We want others to notice us or recognize what we do. We want to be admired. We want to achieve our goals. So super self, self, self. So instead of serving people genuinely, it becomes a service that has this goal of self-serving. So hindi po yun yung gusto ng Panginoon sa atin. Diba? Kasi minsan hindi natin napapansin, sarili na talaga natin iniisip natin. And don't worry, if you realize that, then it's time to go to the Lord and to repent and to surrender it to God. So wag po naman natin i-hate yung sarili natin na naiinis na tayo, bakit kasi gita-gita ganyan. There's still a chance and a, an, an opportunity for us to go back to the Lord and ask for His help and just surrender our self-desires, our self-goals, our self, you know, yung mga masyado nang natatakpan yung um, mga gustong gawin ng Panginoon sa atin. So, ayun, the quality of self-forgetfulness is like faithfulness. So, importante po talaga na kinakalimutan natin yung sarili natin. Not to the point na nagiging careless na tayo, no? Kasi gusto pa rin ng Panginoon na inaalagaan po natin ang sarili natin. Hindi natin pinapabayaan. But we have to learn to balance. And self-forgetfulness to the point na nagiging selfless po tayo na um, we make sure na balanced yung pag-care natin sa iba at the same time. Hindi po natin 100% pinapabayaan yung sarili natin. We just have to live a balanced life. That is what God is teaching us naman po. So, um, out of all the people Paul knew, if you're gonna read the Bible, si Timothy po ang isang example na pinoint niya. Thinking like a servant is difficult because it challenges the basic problem of life na we are by nature selfish. Diba? So, uh, minsan, ang hirap po talaga mag-think like a servant because by nature, tayo pong mga tao talaga ay selfish. Hindi po natin yung maitatanggi. That's why humility is a daily struggle and it is actually a daily challenge for us na dapat nililift up natin sa Lord every day. Every day we surrender, every day we um, we die to ourselves every day because yun, I've been there din po na pagdaanan ko rin yung parang there are days na I'm dead to myself but there are times na parang bigla akong may insecure, bigla akong um, magiging selfish and stuff like that. So, it is because, ay, may isang araw na hindi ako nakapag-surrender. So, kailangan every day, it's a daily surrender, it's a daily um, death to ourselves. Uh, we can uh, measure our servant's heart by how we respond when others treat us like servants. So, kapag uh, may ibang tao po na nagtitreat tayong servants, dun po talaga mat-check yung heart natin. Dun natin makikita if are we really thinking like a servant? Are we really living a life like a servant? Or baka kapag may nag may nagtit na sa atin as servants na trigger tayo na inis tayo. Say for example, sa church, um one one way that someone would treat you as a servant is sabi nating anak, paki ayos nga yung mga upuan, i-arrange mo yung chairs. So, makikita dun ko ano yung puso mo. Servant, may servant heart ka ba o wala? Kapag ang response mo dun, ano ba yan? Ako na ngayon naglinis dito maghapon. Ako pong mag-aayos ng upuan. Big sabihin, wala ka pa rin servant heart because you have that response na in genuine and you have that response na iniisip mo pa rin yung sarili mo. Pinibilang mo yung trabaho mo. So, um, if we really ha have the servant heart, our response would be, Sige po, ako na pong bahala, ako na pong mag-aayos dyan. Regardless kung may nagawa ka ng maraming iba, regardless kung yung iba mong kasama, wala nagagawa pa. As long as you just do, you just follow, and you just submit. Sa gaya nga sa prayer, ay sa song po kanina, diba? Um, I will follow you. I will submit. So, yun po yung heart ng isang servant. Sum sumusunod po sa ating master, which is ang Panginoon. So, ang next po nating attitude ay servants think like stewards, not owners. So, dito po may remind tayo that we are actually stewards na um, ito pong mundo, our life is not ours, um, that the whole world, God owns it all, hindi po tayo ang may, may ari nun. And in that way, it will be reminded us na mas mamuhay ng isang, bilang isang servant. So, 
Uh, the Bible a steward was a servant entrusted to manage an estate. So, mga babasa naman po natin, di ba, yun yung is, is mga role ng uh, mga stewards. And uh, Joseph was this kind of servant as a prisoner to ma uh, in Egypt. And Potiphar entrusted Joseph with his home. So, maalam po natin yung story na yun. Pag-usapan pag po natin yung story na yun. And servanthood and stewardship go together. Since God expects us to be trustworthy in both, the Bible says the one thing required of such servants is that they be faithful to their master. So, how are we handling the resources na binibigay po sa atin ng Panginoon? And the one thing that we are being tested on that is how we handle our money, how we handle our finances, how we make use of our talents. Are we using it for the Lord? Are we using it for ourselves? Are we worshiping the money that we have? So, the Lord is actually testing our stewardship and our servanthood through giving us resources and looking um, kung paano po natin hinahandle and uh, ginagawang, I mean, inahandle at, at uh, ginagamit yung mga resources po na yun. So, to become a real servant, we have to settle the issue of money in our lives. Yun po talaga yung pinaka-challenge. Sabi nga, di ba, we cannot ser serve two masters. So, it doesn't mean na hindi na tayo um, it doesn't mean hindi na gagamit ng pera. But what this is telling us is to really learn to not worship money because sabi nga, if, if we will, sabi dito, if we will serve the Lord, saan na yun? Uh, if we will serve the Lord, yung money, it will serve you. The money will serve you. If we will serve God, the money will serve us. But if we serve money, we will become slaves of it. Diba? So, yun yung lagi po nating isipin kasi the Lord will just eventually bless us, provide for us. He knows what we need. He knows what um, he knows what amount of provision He would give us. He knows what's best for us. So, we just gotta serve Him and then trust everything to Him instead of worshiping both God and money. So, you just have to give all out to God and eventually susunod na lang po yung mga bagay na yun. So, yun po yung isa sa tinuturo sa atin ng Panginoon that as servants, we have to be reminded that we are not owners but rather we are stewards of this earth, we are stewards of the resources He gives us. So, it is a foolish decision na i-regret po natin kapag sinerve po natin yung money. Kapag masyado po tayong sumusunod sa pera. So, but failing to use those things, failing to be a steward will actually um, affect our um, relationship with the Lord. So, importante po na nababantay natin yun. Third attitude is that servants think about their work not what others are doing. So, another character, personality, attitude that we should have is we should not compare ourselves to others. So, actually, ako po nagiging struggle ko yan. Most of the time, I compare myself to others and God continuously reminds me na you shouldn't compare because each of us, we are all un uniquely um, created by God. We have different um, tasks from the Lord. We have different calling from the Lord. And we just have to focus on what we're doing. So, sabi po dito, ang servants daw, kung tunay kang servant, hindi ka tumitingin sa ginagawa ng iba. Excuse me. Nakafocus ka dun sa kung anong ginagawa mo. Nakafocus ka dun sa task na inassign sa'yo ng master mo. And if we're reminded of the story of Mary and Martha, um, makikita po natin dun when, uh, when Martha complained, it is because she started comparing what she's doing to what Mary was doing that time. If she did not, if she just focused on serving, wala naman pong problema sa pag-prepare niya for the Lord. There's nothing wrong with that because both of them, they're both serving, they're both doing what's right. But nagkulang lang po at nagkamali si Martha when she started complaining. And and what made her complain is when she started comparing herself dun po kay Mary. So ganun po ang nangyayari sa atin. Kaya minsan we get disappointed, we think we're not enough, we think we're not doing our best, we think na parang hindi tayo nag-grow. It's because we keep on comparing ourselves to others. And this is actually a, a learning and... um. 
it is a learning experience din po sa akin na parang there are times talaga na I keep comparing myself to others. Kaya doon din ako nasasaktan, doon ako nahihirapan mag-serve pa kasi nakatihin ako sa iba. But the Lord is reminding us, servants should think about their work and not what others are doing. Yun po yun natin, lagi nating um, i-remind yung sarili natin. Fourth attitude, servants base their identity in Christ. This one is a good reminder sa ating lahat no na na papamuhay bilang servant. It's because again, we are all um lahat po tayo prone po tayo na masway yung tingin natin sa identity natin because we think na parang our identity is based on what we do, our identity is based on our possessions, our identity is based on um how others see us. But it's not like that. Because our identity is in Christ. Kailangan secure po tayo. As servants, we have to be secure and not insecure. Sabi dito, um, servants remember that they are loved, accepted by grace, and they don't have to prove their worth. So we have to be um, mindful of this. Na hindi natin kailangan i-prove yung worth natin. Kasi... Kaya tayo minsan nahihirapan maging servant because we think na parang, hala, kailangan ko muna i-prove yung worth ko. Pero ito ako, itong ginagawa ko, nagsiserve ako. Parang wala naman tong value, parang wala naman tong worth. But no. No, regardless of what we do, just like when Jesus washed the feet of His disciples, before that, before He did that, hindi niya inisip na, ay, magiging ka-level ko yung mga naglilinis ng paa, yung mga... Uh, mga shoe people hindi ko na ay ka, ka level ko sila kapag ginawa ko yun hindi ni ni pa Jesus it's because he knows who he is he knows his identity he knows na yung identity niya naka base sa Panginoon and that is why he was able to humble himself down and do things like that and serve others so ganun din po sa atin mas magiging um confident po tayo mag-serve mas magiging confident po tayo na um, mamuhay bilang servant kapag tayo po ay nakita natin ang worth natin sa Panginoon. Secure tayo na our worth is found in Christ. Not on what we do. Not on who we are. Not on who our friends are. Not on what others think of us. So, kailangan po natin maalala to kasi ito ang isa sa pinaka ginugulo ng kaaway sa atin is yung identity natin. Doon tayo nakakonfuse most of the time. But we have to stand firm. We have to um, always remember that our identity is based in Christ. So, when we base our worth and identity in Him, we are freed from the expectations of others that and that allows us to really serve them best. Actually, kaya po tayo minsan parang kulang-kulang yung service natin kasi parang masyado tayo nag-overthink kung anong gusto nilang ginagawa natin. Masyado tayong um, tawag dito concerned sa kung anong sasabihin nila sa atin. And if you are to think about it, Iba-iba po ang perspective, iba-iba po ang iba-iba po ang perception ng tao. So kung ang isa gusto niya ito yung ginagawa mo, may isa na ito yung ginagawa mo, it's really hard to please them all. But when we are reminded that we are not to please them but we are to serve them, we are to be a living blessings to them, then dun po tayo makakapag-serve ng best sa kanila which is gusto ng Panginoon na ginagawa natin. The closer we get to Christ, the less we need to promote ourselves. So let us be reminded of that. Hindi na natin kailangang i-promote pa yung sarili natin. Because the Lord Himself will do that. And actually, it doesn't matter if we get promoted or not. But as long as we're, we know we're doing the right thing, we know we're serving the Lord, we're serving the people, then that's what matters the most. Kasi nagagawa po natin ng tama yung calling natin. And lastly, na attitude po ng isang servant, servants think of ministry as an opportunity and not an obligation. Mas madali pong mag-serve kung ginagawa po natin yun, hindi out of obligation. But when we think of it as an opportunity for us to be used as an instrument of God, for us to um, be a blessing to many people, no? as we serve the Lord with gladness, we know na we are... Uh, doing the right thing. Kasi, hindi ka po makapag-serve with gladness kung sarili lang natin, inisip natin. Hindi po tayo makapag-serve with gladness if 
obligation lang. Diba ang minsan parang nakakapagod yung obligation mo lang siyang gawin. Parang wala, wala kang motivation to do it every day. Kasi nakakapagod. Kasi obligation nga siya. But, if we um, do things out of, we know that it is an opportunity and a blessing of God, then nakaka-inspire siya gawin everyday. Kasi we know everyday may ginagawa ang Panginoon na bago. May ginagawa siyang movement sa buhay ng ibang tao na nasiserve po natin. So, that's what we have to always remember. But know na, always know na ang pinaka-master natin ng Panginoon, He is the one we serve and He just wants us to be servants because it will flow na. Huwag po natin isipin na master natin yung mga tao. Master po natin ng Panginoon. We serve God but He wants us to be servants in such a way na we are humble, that we are um, selfless, that we are doing the right thing before Him. So, the only really happy people are those who have learned how to serve. Sabi po ni Albert Squitzer. The only really happy people are those who have learned how to serve. So, that is a great reminder for all of us. Di lang po sa inyo, sa akin din po. It's a good reminder na kailangan po natin mag-think like a servant. We have to get closer to God. We have to uh, be reminded to be our stewards that we, are, we must be selfless that our identity is based sa Panginoon and that we, sh- we are uniquely created by God and called by God so we shouldn't compare what we are doing to what others are doing. So let us pray po. Amen. Father God, thank you so much for reminding us of this word. Thank you for continuously um, instilling to our hearts and minds that we are servants of yours and that we have to live right before you and that we have to live like how Jesus Christ lived here on earth. We just um, offer to your life, surrender everything to you. We just continuously die to ourselves, Lord God, and we honor your name and praise your name. Patuloy niyo po kami gamitin, Panginoon, sa buhay ng maraming tao, that we become a blessing, that we become um, a bridge, Lord God, for you to move into their lives, for you to speak to them, Lord God. Father, we cancel all the works of the enemy. Thank you for protecting us always. Thank you for reminding us of your power. Thank you for always teaching us and humbling us down, Lord God. We love you. We praise you. Bless us the whole day and bless us the, bless us the whole week. We honor you, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much, Paul, and God bless you all. Have a great day.